1946, Dr. Dean Fowler opened a medical practice in Conroe. His practice grew, and in 1958, he and his partners, Dr. Ivory Watson and Dr. Walker Wilkerson, founded Sadler Clinic. Dr. Sadler worked hard throughout his life to achieve his goal of making an excellent medical care available to everyone at all. More than 50 years later, Dr. Sadler has passed away, but his dreams to provide health care to all is in question to how much longer it will exist with Sadler's physicians fighting amongst themselves and leaving Sadler to practice elsewhere. Here I have um, information about Sadler Clinic and the actual um, news headlines of what's going on up there that y'all can pass around and look at. Sadler Clinic Executive Director Rob Braxter stated in his press release that the uncertainty of health care reform has a significant impact on the entire health care reform. The anticipated 21% reduction in physicians' reimbursement has forced the clinic to recreate patients' delivery systems, which is cutting the pay into the doctors. A cut in pay for the doctors has made a lot of doctors resign from the clinic. With more and more resigning every day, Sadler Clinic doesn't know what is going to happen. Rob Braxter that states that these proposed changes can result in differing opinions about the practice of medicine and possibly a lot more resignings could be a result. Be a result. In late March, Dr. Sadler discontinued his contracts with Dr. Pete, Kirschenbaum, and Robertson. What bothered these three physicians the most was the abrupt method in which they were fired, not giving them, their patients, or anyone in that matter, 30 days notice. It is standard practice to give 30 days notice to patients and doctors. After this termination, at least seven other physicians have resigned. These three physicians said their firing was motivated because of their differences in philosophy with Sadler Clinic management. Capriton, one of about 25 doctors, resigned from Sadler Clinic Monday, citing philosophical differences with clinic management. Exactly what stands behind the firing of these three physicians still remains unclear. The headlines on April 9th read Connor Regional Medical Center signed letters of intent to affi affiliate with Sadler Clinic. The affiliation would join the re owned care offered by Connor Regional Medical Center and cooperative philosophical differences that have been growing significantly over time has led to the termination of three physicians without 30 day notice and the resignation of 25 more. Some physicians have resigned, that have resigned have stated differences of philosophical, philosophical opinions while others say it was related to the wrong termination of these three physicians. Dr. Seiler strived for years to provide extra, excellent health care to all, but now it is in question with all the recent terminations and resignations. Nor Catherine Hart is challenging the clinic's non-compete agreement. This agreement prohibits a former physician or doctor from Sadler Clinic from practicing medicine for 18 months within a 22-mile radius of the clinic's primary facility, Connor Regional Medical Center. If Hart wins in her suit, this could open the door for other ex Sadler employees who want to keep practicing in the county instead of being forced to change professions or move. Other ex employees from Sadler take on a task that this is brave on her part, that she is doing the right thing, and that someone needed to do this. Other ex-employees were forced to practice and move to either Huntsville or into another county like Harris County. Ex-employees are now looking for a way or a place to start up their own practice, but their fate lies on the suit between Dr. Sadler and Nora Hart. Okay. Oh.
coming on with it.